friends, welcome to Airdrop Sports and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to be revoking uh, an access that a contract address has to our NFT on Frame Testnet. So, in order to do this, open up your tab and then you are going to paste the link to an explorer. The explorer is for the uh, for an NFT on Frame Testnet Quest for NFT. So, for your convenience, you are going to find the link to the explorer in the comment section. So, the first thing you are going to do is you are going to connect your wallet with Frame Explorer. Now, after connecting your wallet, you can see my wallet is connected here. You are going to move over to the Mint tab, tap on it and then tap on Write. Before we can revoke an access, we want to first mint the NFT and that is what I am doing right now. So, confirm that in your wallet. Tap on Confirm. Now I have successfully minted the Quest for NFT on Frame. Now I'm going to move over to Set Approval for All tab. And then in the first box, you are going to enter a contract address. And in the second box, you are going to enter a command. True. That is the command you are going to enter. So what we are doing right here is that we are giving that contract address that I entered in the first box an access to move my Quest for NFT anytime, even when I am not aware. And that is the same thing that happens, you are going to tap on right. That is the same thing that happens when you want to sell your NFT in any marketplace. You are giving their contract address and access to your NFT. Now you are going to tap on confirm. However, a short note, if you are interacting on mainnet and you see that the action button is in red color instead of blue, that means you should double check on what you are trying to do and then see if something bad is going to happen. Here, when you tap on confirm, you are giving that contract address and access to move your quest for NFT. Tap on approve. Okay, but nothing is going to happen here. So now that the approval is done, we are going to go over. We have given the contract address and access to move our NFT. Now we want to go and then revoke the access that that contract address has to our NFT. So to do that, we are going to revoke.cash. Every link I used in this video can be found in the comment section, but if you want the contract address, join my telegram channel because you can't copy it from the comment, sec from the comment section. So tap on connect your wallet and choose MetaMask. Now that your wallet is connected, normally you should see Frame logo here, but assuming that when you visited this website, you are not on Frame Testnet, just tap on the drop down and then choose frame testnet to switch your network. Now, this is the quest for NFT that I minted earlier and then you can see that the contract address has unlimited access to the NFT, which means even if I have 1 million frame testnet, it can move everything. Now, you are going to tap on revoke to remove the access that the address have to your NFT. Then tap on confirm. Now we are going to go back and see if all is done. Now this is our NFT, I am back on revoke.cash and then you can see that no contract address has any access to our NFT again. Okay, so this is how you revoke any access to any contract address on whatever tokens that you have. I'll go back to the Quest website and then see if this task has been completed. So you can see the task has been completed, I can now claim the badge, so I'll tap on claim badge. And then I'm going to confirm that in my wallet. So now the task is done. You can see everything marked in green. The task is done. At the point of making this video today, revoke and approval is the latest task on Frame Quest. So when there is a new task, I'm going to make a video for it. If you have questions, drop me a comment in the comment section of this video or join me on Telegram. And if you want access to the contract address that I used, you can find that in my Telegram channel as well. If you have found value in any of my content, make sure that you give me a like on this video. This is how I can know. And also, subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out on any other updates in the future. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video.